Hola, amigos. It is I, John Madden, the Luang Bro, here from CSGOforums.com. I'm going to show you guys how to do a little something something in the Hammer Editor here, the map maker for all the Source games. Uh, so in this tutorial, kind of a beginner, beginner-ish series, I'm going to show you guys how to get a floor and some walls up and put down some textures, some very basic things, kind of give you an idea of how this all works. So, um... I don't know if I if I did a setup video yet for see a, for the hammer editor and how all the different things work, but I'll make that a separate video. But this is what you want it to look like with the camera on the left, and be sure you go to View and go to 3D Textured Polygons. So when we create our objects here, we'll be able to see them in kind of real time. We'll see the textures and stuff. So what we want to do, let's start off by creating a floor. So to do that, we're going to use this guy right here, the block tool. You can press Shift B or just click on it. And over here in the bottom right, you want to make sure your categories is in primitives and change the object to a block. And you can use a cylinder, spear, all those different ones. But we want a block, just a basic rectangle, square, whatever, however you want it. And so I'm going to use the top XY, so this is like a top-down view if you were like above the level. And I'm just going to hold down the left mouse and drag out like that. And you'll see that's 1024 by 1024. You'll also see the side XZ view and the front YZ view here. And that's kind of, this is the height right here, which is 64. And we're going to hit enter, hold down space, hold down the left click, use WASID keys to move around like that. And you'll see our little thing right there. So we have it selected now. If we could deselect it, that'd be great. Is it not going to let us? Okay, we actually made another one. So now you'll see right there we have our little block we made. And it's already textured because by default it will use the texture that you have selected. So let me just show you an example for scale purposes uh, how big this is. So we're going to grab right here. This is the entity tool. We're just going to click randomly in the middle. And by default it spawns a player entity. So this is where the player would spawn, but that's irrelevant. Now this player spawn is pretty much to scale. In game it is 72 units high, pixels high, whatever you want to call it. I think it's units is the term they use. So you can use this as a reference scale which is what I do a lot. So when I'm building my walls and stuff like that and doors I kind of place a bunch of these player spawns around to get an idea and you can also look at this top down view and see how big is that space. So let's make this a little smaller so we click the object, grab it by the handles, kind of bring it down like that and we can also grab the player entity we can zoom in here you know hold them and drag them around so we got him there let's change the texture of this ground so you can click the ground in this way when you select the texture it'll apply it to all the sides and you're gonna wanna hit the toggle texture application guy right here and this brings up the face edit sheet this is where you can pick your textures so you're gonna come on down right here and hit browse and then you'll see the textures thing pop up now you get a whole bunch of textures, I think it depends on what source games you have, like if you have Team Fortress 2, you'll get Team Fortress 2 textures and stuff like that. Uh, obviously let's get some Counter-Strike textures, so we can go to Filter, or I'm sorry, Keywords, and go to CS Strike, and that will show us all the Counter-Strike, Global Offensive textures, and we just want basic ground texture. Uh, and you'll notice it has the names in them. It'll say Aztec, so that's the actual textures from Aztec. So we select that texture and simply hit Apply here, and it'll apply it to all the different faces of this block. Now keep in mind, when you're in-game, you're not going to see the bottom of it, so you, you can. Uh, there's some techniques you can do to cover that up, but let's just remember we're pretty much only going to see the top of this, so we don't really only need to worry about the top. So I could go to Browse, or let me show you how to text the other side. So we let go of this. You know, deselect it, go back to the texture thing and hit browse. And let's just get another random one and hit enter. Now, to apply it to a different face, you can apply it to all the different sides, bottoms, tops. You'd select the texture you want, keep this open, and right click to apply it. So you see, we're applying this different texture to the other sides. We can even do it on the bottom, and that's how you apply different textures to different sides of it. So now let's make some walls, and a lot of this is just using your head, it's just thinking how things are constructed and carving stuff out. So right here at the top, we see our block here, and we know we need to build our walls on top of that. So I'm going to drag this guy out like that, and you'll see right here in this picture, it is inside this other block. So if we come here, this is how we can move stuff up and down, we can simply drag this up, 
and you'll see the little preview there. Now, of course, that wall isn't high enough, so we'll click here, drag it up one more, and that looks about good, and we'll hit Enter. So now we have this wall here, but it's a little sand texture, and of course, we want to apply the texture to all of it, so let's keep it selected, bring this up, go to Browse, and let's just type in Wall into the filter, grab this one, hit Apply, and now we have a wall. That's kind of a thick wall, so let's bring it down a little. Select the wall, and up here on the XY top-down view, you can go ahead and hit the bracket key next to the P. I don't, yeah, that's the bracket, the one directly to the right of the P, and when you press that, you'll see this grid changes sizes. So the default, I think, is about right there. Let's hit it to the left once. Zoom in, and drag this guy in. You'll see it shortened it up a little. Now let's uh, finish getting this wall all the way around. We could draw a bunch more or we could just copy these. So let's hit this guy, hold shift, drag it out, and that makes a copy of it. And we can do that again. We have that and press control M. Oh, wow, I just fucking son of a bitch. So we select this guy here. Sorry about that. I had some technical difficulties. So we got this guy selected. Obviously, we're going to need to rotate him. You can click this object again, and you'll see these handles change to circles, and you can rotate it like that. But that isn't really accurate, so I'm going to undo that, if I could do that. And what we're going to go to do is go to Tools and Transform, or you can press Control m And what we want to do is rotate the Z axis, axis whatever you want to call it, so make sure the modes on rotate and a 90 degree rotation on the z-axis would make it go the other opposite way obviously so we have it now rotated and we'll need to place it and drag it in and uh, you'll see right here all these guys meet up uh, that's where this one goes oh, that's the top one so these two stop a little early and this guy had to be shorter. There are things you can do to optimize the map such as connecting these two together. But we'll worry about that later. So let's get this last one. Hold shift, drag them out. Move them there. Boom. You got a little room now. And of course, you guys can do the same thing for a roof. We can just grab this bottom one. Hold shift. Pull it up. Shorten it up. And we can move it up on top. And let's apply a basic texture to this. Uh doesn't really have to be anything special search for roof in the filter and sure that looks good let's hit apply you know it doesn't match at all but there you go you know you got your little room and now you're inside it you got your textures how to kind of build stuff and uh, in another tutorial I'll show you guys how to add some light and start carving and doing some badass stuff peace